Lewis Hamilton crashed in the final practice session. What does that do to his confidence? And first of all, what does it do to his car? Can they get that fixed? Robert Kubica has pulled over to the side with smoke pouring from the rear of his Williams. We saw an uh, engine failure yesterday for Sergio Perez. He's gone back to the old spec engine. They've red flagged the session. Flames coming from the back of that Williams. Is this another Mercedes power unit failure, I wonder? The red flag helped them, but that's an impressive effort from the Mercedes team yeah. to get that car back on track. I think they'd have, been out. they'd have been out with or without the red flag. Uh, I'd have thought, but uh, it's given them a bit of breathing space. Not the best of news if you're a fan of Antonio Giovinazzi or Alfa Romeo, the second car to retire from qualifying after Robert Kubica. Giovinazzi is now out as well. They've red flagged the session, and, and with only 43 seconds on the clock, that's it for qualifying and it means that in Q1, George Russell, Danny Kvyat, Carlos Sainz and Pierre Gasly will all join Robert Kubica and won't take any further part. So Carlos, the session won't be restarted I'm afraid. That means we're P17, P17. Whoa, that's a bit of a blow. We haven't talked about Daniel Ricciardo and the other Renault. He's been there or thereabouts, hasn't yeah. he? Sort of mid top 10. Uh, all the way through. He's, I think he's in a nice position, Daniel, at the moment uh, for tomorrow's race. And his teammate was 11th, goes 7th, just ahead of uh, Daniel Ricciardo, who's out on the track at the moment. Kevin Magnussen, the driver at risk, and even more at risk now as he stays 10th uh, on the road. Sergio Perez next across the line. He stays only 9th. Ricciardo next across the line, goes 5th. And it's behind them, Lando Norris. Now qualified his teammate, 9-4 now so far this season. Can't get his car into Q3. Stays uh, outside the uh, top 10. Behind Lando Norris, Lance Stroll uh, couldn't improve, but he's going to start at the back of the grid. Uh, Alex Albon, as we saw, didn't come out for another lap. Giovinazzi couldn't come out for another lap. This is affecting their outlet. Oh, he's had to lock up Hamilton there just to avoid his teammate, Valtteri Bottas. They've now let the Ferraris pass. They ha but they had to let, um, they had to get out of the way there because Raikkonen was on a hot lap. It yeah. was Raikkonen that shot through the picture. On board with Valtteri Bottas behind Nico Hülkenberg. And then, oh, once again, he wants to get on with it. And Hülkenberg going very, very slowly. But Hülkenberg wants the slipstream at the top oh, of the right. hill and Bottas doesn't want to give it to him. It's kind of ridiculous, this Definitely lost a lot of front end. Hamilton very fast through the middle sector, yeah. fastest man on a 43.9. And that's where Mercedes have been strong this weekend. Bottas goes on to provisional pole. Hamilton next across the line, beats his teammate. He takes provisional pole. Verstappen third fastest, but here come the two Ferraris. First of all, Charles Leclerc, two poles this season. Provisional pole by over six tenths of a second. His teammate Sebastian Vettel only good enough for third fastest. Charles Leclerc, the man on provisional pole, sets off for the final 4.3 miles of this qualifying session to see if he can extend his advantage and claim a third pole position in Formula One. He's so lightning fast that any slipstream Lewis Hamilton's trying to pick up from that Ferrari is disappearing fast, but he's still getting a bit of an effect by the time uh, they get to the top of the hill. Leclerc a tenth up then, Hamilton a 30.5, Sebastian Vettel a 29.8, he's up on his teammate. It's a personal best for Hamilton but still 6, 7, 10 shy. Uh, he'll pick it up uh, some of that in the middle part of the lap but Vettel then getting a lovely toe, a lovely slipstream to the top of the hill in 29.8 seconds. We'll see how that affects him in the middle sector because he's a bit closer uh, to Lewis Hamilton than I think he might actually would have wanted. Uh, Charles Leclerc then plunging down to the lowest part of the track through the Fania chicane and onwards towards Stavolo and the curve at Paul Frere. The middle sector timing will come up now and he's two tenths up at uh, Charles Leclerc, stretching his advantage, but Lewis Hamilton's pulled back two tenths on Leclerc through that middle part of the lap, and Sebastian Vettel has lost time in comparison to both Hamilton and Leclerc, so it's pretty neck and neck between the two Ferraris. Yeah, Vettel though, that's not a great middle second for Vettel, is it? 44 sevens, four tenths 
shy of his teammate. That's going to hurt him. I did wonder if he was a bit too close to the Mercedes. Verstappen crosses the line, stays fifth fastest. Charles Leclerc goes quicker. He's on provisional pole. Lewis Hamilton on the front row with him. Can Sebastian Vettel make it a lockout? He can. It's a Ferrari front row lockout as it was in Bahrain. They have confirmed their pace here at Spa on this Saturday afternoon. And no wonder Toto Wolff looks just a little bit perplexed. They absolutely blitzed it on pace. So, uh, pole position, P1, yourself, really good job. Come on, baby, yes, yes. Congratulations, guys. Slow back. One, two, boom. Leclerc takes pole, beats Sebastian Vettel. It's Hamilton and Bottas on row two. It's Verstappen and his former teammate Ricardo on row three, ahead of Hulkenberg, Raikkonen, Perez and Magnussen.